Hi everyone. Um, this is Jennifer. I'm here in the garden. I'm going to be harvesting my potatoes, which you can see behind me. Um, yeah, I figure you might want to see how I did it with my garden potatoes. I was going to film planting them, but the it's so rainy that when I was planting them, it's just get out between the rain showers and get them in the ground. So yeah, I didn't want to drag the iPad out for that. So uh, I'll get to it and show you what I get. So hope you enjoy this. I'm just cutting the tops off these. Ew, what is that? Yeah, that's an ugly bug. Found this guy. He's getting squished. Yuck. I don't particularly enjoy squishing bugs. I'm sorry. There's one for you. This is a red chieftain. It's a boiling potato. So these are going to get canned up. And these are banana fingerling potatoes. I was giving these a try this year, just to see how they did. So I'm putting them in their own little bags so I can keep them separated. I got some regular bags ordered, but they aren't in yet. <clears throat> and with the chance of rain, I wanted to get them harvested and in and yeah. So all right. Is that seriously going rain now that I'm out here? Well, let's get these harvested. No, I don't use a potato fork, I just use my hands. It works so much easier. See, that would be a fingerling. You just wash these up and roast them whole. And even if you leave one that big in there, it will regrow. So you don't want to leave any of these in there, even though you probably will miss a few. That's the reason I have potatoes in my beans. Well, that's weird. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, look, it had a twin. <laughs> you get goofy on this channel, especially when I've been at work all day. I'm going to pick those off, but they're not going in the compost, so. I'm guessing that's a nice one. I haven't really grown these before except in a pot and they didn't really do good in a pot. So. Yeah, I got some green ones. I don't heal my potatoes up. Mainly because I'm lazy. And I just don't do it. 
dig around in here. Okay, we're getting to the French fingerlings. They're red. Another red chieftain. A little green. Um, they say you should throw these away if they're green. But we've always just cut them off. Cut off the, bad, the green part. And they seem to be fine. So if you want to go by what they say pitch them. If you're like me, you cut them off and take a chance. Uh, there are bugs in here. Ooh, more potatoes. And some pretty good ones. Yeah, these first three plants are all fingerling potatoes. So, Ooh, there's another one. Ooh. <laughs> I'm happy. This is my favorite thing to harvest. I'd say of everything in the garden because I never know what I'm going to get because it's all underground and I can't see anything except the tops. So it's always like the most exciting thing for me is go out here and dig up the potatoes. And... Ew, that's the seed potato. I don't want that. And so it just tickles me to death to come out here, get into dirt and dig them up and see what all I have. Ew. Uh, I had yucky potato on my fingers and just rubbed my nose. Ooh, another one. Yeah, getting a pretty good bag of these. Up, oh, there's another red chieftain. Okay, so I'm going to be harvesting some red chieftain also, mainly because I have two rows on this side and two rows on the other side. But as you can see, they're a nice red potato. I don't know what this is. Found an onion I missed. I don't know where to put him, but. All right, let's see here. Oh, my back. I'm not old, I just have back problems. And it really looks like it's going to rain. So, hopefully it holds off until I get done, because I've already started this. Yeah. I'm not sure where these are coming from. I planted all the other ones over there except for some down that way. So I'm not sure where these are coming from. Yes, I'm pulling a few weeds while I'm filming this. Oh. There's some more fingerlings. Oh. This is not going to be a short video. You see that. Uh, I assume that went in the bag. Mm. Is there an 
this has only been really like two plants so far. I'm impressed. Or four plants, plus this plant that I really haven't picked picked yet. Oh, that's a bunch of worms. I think I got them all. Right there. Okay. Well, except that one. And this is a purple fingerling. These are my fun potatoes. Yeah, I bet it's going to rain while I'm filming this. Not par for the course. Well, if it starts raining, I'll get this part of the bed done and she'll have to wait until another time for me to uh, harvest the rest. a cricket. Oh, these are really dark. Yeah, that one's squishy. That one's going on the ground. These are not as productive, it doesn't look like. Oh, wait, there's another one. the ant nest that happens okay these are these are irish cobblers they're supposed to be really good for mashing Ooh, that's a nice size one so these are another variety i planted over there are planted my leftover potatoes from last year uh, we had some left over they're sprouting so we planted them and they seem to work okay let me get these out. Probably have more in here, but. Ooh, potatoes, potatoes. I like potatoes. Potato, potato. Ants are like, oh no, somebody's destroying our home. Well, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, that came off good. Yep. Brought the clippers because I thought I might need them. Ah, oh, crap. Sorry. I'm just looking at some dark clouds over there and hoping I get this done real quick before it showers. He may end up with the bridge version of a video. See, it's going to pour rain and I don't want my iPad to get wet. So. I mean, I'll stay out here in the rain and harvest potatoes, but iPads don't do too good when they get wet. Um, yeah. Well, shoot. I'll get this finished up. I think I got time. up this row. 
Must go faster, must go faster. A few potatoes. Uh. Now, this one's from the other bed. It's either Kennebec or Yukon Gold. Those were the only two varieties I planted last year. You get over there. with this section. start of potato harvest video. Sorry guys, this is going to continue in the kitchen with the weigh-in of what I got so far from just, uh, how close am I? foot section. Oh, sorry. This is all the further I got. Pull this out real quick while I'm here. Um, yeah, I got another few feet, but nothing to it. It's going to rain. See you in the kitchen where I'm going to this stuff. Bye. Hey, everyone. Yeah, we're inside now. It's, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely getting ready to storm. And uh, just for your record, I'm terrified of thunderstorms. So I'm not as bad as I was when I was a kid, but I'm not going to be outside during one. Sorry. Um, let's go ahead and get these potatoes away. These are the fingerling potatoes. I could separate them, weigh them all, but yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not that patient. So. Get these in this bucket and we'll get them weighed out and let you know how many fingerling potatoes I got from three plants. I dropped one. Yep, that's the only one I dropped. Alrighty, I got the scale already set up so.
and two pounds, two and a half pounds. I'd say that's pretty good. Here. Yeah, I don't know how to zoom with this thing. There are probably rules against this, but there you go. So. We'll tilt it so you can see it. Sorry about all this. I am not a pro. I could do this for five years and I probably won't be a pro. So, those are the fingerlings. So we got two and a half pounds of fingerling potatoes. I got more than two and a half pounds of these others. So, probably have to do these in batches. There's no good way to do this. Most YouTubers have this all planned out. That was my plant light for my little plants over there. It's on a timer. Most YouTubers, they probably have this all planned out, neatly set up, neat. No. <laughs> You're lucky if you get a video. <laughs> okay. So let's see what I got here. I'm just weighing them all together, same reason. I think I got more red potatoes than I got uh, Irish cobbler. But that's usually the case. The Red Chieftain, they 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 produce a lot. It's just we need potatoes that aren't aren't the only thing you can do with them is can them or um, turn them into potato salad. We like fried potatoes. So let's get these. That one. Yeah. Get this thing filled up. Get me another plastic bag. All right, that one's full. Let's see how many potatoes we got. Get this balance. Five pounds. Okay, five and a quarter. Let's sling you in there. Hopefully you can see that. Five and a quarter pounds. Sorry. Um, I got a five gallon bucket. I'll just toss them in here. Rain's here. All right. Let's see if I can just pour the rest of these in. Yeah, you might want to pick these off. <laughs> They don't help the potato any longer. I lost one, but I think it's a really tiny one, so I'm not worried about it. Five pounds, so. I guess you'd call them main crop potatoes that I grew. I got 10 pounds in a quarter ounce. So, I pretty much got, and that's just that little section right there. That's 12 pounds of potatoes, 12 and a half pounds. Okay, 12 and three fourths if you want to count the quarter ounce. But yeah, so, so far from the little space I got, I got 12 pounds of potatoes, 12 and three quarters so yeah I did pretty good I'm happy with that um hopefully later this week I will get the rest of the potatoes harvested or maybe next week just depending we'll see so thank you for tuning in I hope you enjoyed this um and I'll talk to you next time bye